Okay, so another thing we can kind of do is set up our cheat table so we don't get any weird behavior. Um, one of the things that really always bugged me was, say, if we click that by accident, um, it can really screw up how you set your table up, and it even gets down into some of these areas. Um, we're going to step nine. So we can see it's even completely restructured all of this. Um, which, I mean, obviously, if you want to go alphabetical order, that can be real, you know, that can work out great. But um, if that's not what you're wanting and you want to make sure you always keep it the same, even if somebody clicks up here or whatever, um, we can change that behavior and kind of get rid of that. Um, really not too complicated, basically. What we just want to do is um, create, we can go ahead and set up a function even. Let's go ahead and just call it uh, disable header sorting. And then this one we don't really need to pass anything to it necessarily. Um, and we just want to go ahead and first grab the address list header. Basically, the way we're going to want to do this is um, it's kind of an odd function, but I actually don't know another way. It might just be address list header, but this is just the way I've always kind of done it, and it works pretty decent. Um, come up, component get. So component, get component, and then here we can just pass it the address list. And then basically it gets the component based on where it's actually placed at more or less, or um, the hierarchy of it. Um, so if we just go and give it a, a value, you know, pass a value of one with that, um, we'll end up getting the address list header here. So if we do address list.header, section click and basically we just want to set that to nil so from here we can go ahead and just pop this in the Lua engine and kind of give it a little bit of a test um, and then we just want to make sure that we do in fact call that function Go and execute that, and we can kind of see here that we're not actually sorting anything anymore, and this will keep the, everything in order. <coughs> so, let's go ahead and stick that in our Lua table script, so this way we can know that will happen pretty much every time. You don't even really need to make this a function, but um, I tend to try and make things a little more modular, so usually burying it in a function isn't a bad idea. 